What up guys, I'm back today, but unfortunately no pomade reviews. Basically I was expecting a lot of packages being delivered yesterday or today, but for some reason they got postponed to like the Monday, Tuesday delivery time frame. And so that realistically puts our next pomade review either being next week or next weekend. I mean, I'm sorry, but it is what it is and we'll just have to work with that. Also, I was hoping to release like a cool ukulele video for you guys, but I'm still really bad. I can't even strum it correctly, so that's gonna have to get postponed. The best pomades of 2015 video is almost done. I basically picked about like most of the pomades and stuff like that, but I do have to try a few other ones, so we're gonna hold off to that. And so what we have today is free time, I guess. And so what I'm gonna do with that free time is try to be more present on the blog forum for you guys, but also take time and create these like random videos, just like a few of them to address questions that have come up over time on this blog, on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, and just like answer a few questions because hey, why not? But this is the primary video, so we're gonna have like a more central, dense, conceptual, theoretical topic to talk about today. And so what I wanted to share with you guys is basically why this blog doesn't really have a lot of how-to style videos. Because on YouTube you'll find a lot of like how to style David Beckham's hair, how to style Cristiano Ronaldo's hair, how to dress for the summer, how to wear a sport coat properly. It's like videos like that. And I mean if I was just like trying to head towards like a YouTube like YouTube, YouTube like fame. I would just basically like shoot those out my ass and basically uh, provide to you guys all these like how-to videos and like all these like styling videos but that's not what this vlog is about and that's not a uh, image and mentality that I want to portray to you guys the first reason why I don't do them is because I'm not gonna tell you guys what you need to do or how you should look if you guys notice on my blog, it's subtle, but I provide you guys information, a shitload of information, and I expect you, as my brilliant viewer, to sift through all this information, information, pick and choose what is useful and applicable to you. If you guys notice in my like how to style a pompadour or how to finger comb a pompadour video, there are not only really high level generalized outlines, but the purpose of them is to provide a foundation of how the process works so that you yourself can basically apply that to yourself and kind of pick and choose different um, processes that are effective for you and develop your own unique style of, of like styling the pompadour. And what I know, will never ever tell you is like what you guys need to do and what you guys should have because this idea of like telling you guys you need to style a pompadour like this and a pompadour is this and only has one definition is really stupid. I mean, we live in like fluid times and the thing is like we need to be more open-minded and so I will never tell you guys like your pompadour needs to look like this and so instead I'm going to provide you guys with information and allow you to interpret that and push forward to whatever hairstyle whatever definition of a pompadour whatever process you even want and that's like one reason why I don't provide these house two style videos and stuff like that or just how to dress videos because I'm not gonna tell you guys what to do like you guys know what you want to do you guys know what you need to do and so I'm not gonna lead you guys down a path that has been applied to me because you are not me and stuff like that and the second reason why I don't provide these like how to style how to dress videos is because how do I look if I tell you guys and promote to you guys that you should be trying to look like David Beckham or like Cristiano Ronaldo and stuff like that. I don't like the idea of like promoting that popular like kind of concept in like American culture that like how you look, how you present to your world, how you and your unique self are composed should be following some like celebrity on the like on the internet or on TV, someone who has like no idea you exist, has no care that you exist, and just has no relation to you. And so on this blog, what I try to do is just, like I said before, provide you guys information and push you guys to develop your own style, your own way to like compose your like self-image. Because, I mean, you're a person, you need to think for yourself. 
and the last thing you want to do is really like be so dedicated to this exter external like source of inspiration that you forget that you yourself are still like the thing you're working with because it always pushes these the internet and stuff like that whether you're like on reddit for like all that stupid like fashion stuff or you're just scouring the internet for random blogs like this one or stuff like that you get this idea that people start focusing on the clothes too much start focusing on the hair the product too much and what they forget that at the end of the day the central the cornerstone of their image the cornerstone of how people perceive them is still gonna be them themselves like you your face the way you speak the way you hold yourself the way you walk and so if you get too obsessed with like clothes then you really forget or you wear clothes that are, that are louder that speak for you and you no longer can speak for yourself for example in like the whole selvage community like selvage denim is a big thing and people start getting fixated on selvage denim like it's like the only way to go and that's like understandable but it gets to this point where people focus on being like true to like the origins of denim being all about the denim and they start accommodating their entire image to selvage denim the way they dress the way they wear they all of a sudden start wearing this work weight, even though they're probably like a service person behind like the counter at taco bell yet they wear workwear stuff as though they're an engineer or like a machinist and so they've kind of start beginning to lose themselves and start reforming reshaping themselves to fit an inanimate object that you can just buy and so on this blog, I provide you guys a review of like products, just as information, but I always, I do my best to basically refrain from telling you guys that you need this and emphasizing the product too much. And when I talk about like style and stuff like that, in the rare occasions that I do anymore, I used to a lot, but I will always do my best to remind people that, I mean, at the end of the day, your look needs to accommodate accent and basically put you on a pedestal, not a pair of pants, not a nice t-shirt, not your fucking hair either and stuff like that. And so, I mean, going dragging all the way back to the central topic, that's basically why I don't create how-to style videos on this blog too much. Because I want you guys to basically come up, with, come up with a style on your own, whether that's your hair, your clothing style, your subculture that you exist within, whatever it is, you do you. And so that's why I don't do those things. But yeah, check out the other videos today. We'll be talking about a few other things on a much lighter note. So, peace. I've been roll running money this Sunday, all I know is hunters. I've been roll running money this Sunday, all I know is hunters. I've been roll running money this Sunday, all I know is hunters. And my niggas get that money, mansion flexing, opera stunting.